Part 1 Breast and Shoulders In this video lesson, you will discover the anatomy of the shoulder region, which includes geometrical construction, bones, and muscles. In the middle of each collarbone, there is a triangular gap between two muscles that are attached to that bone, the breast muscle and the deltoid. We can draw two vertical lines downward from those landmarks. The length of the collarbone is equal to the height of the breastbone. The shape of the breastbone resembles a sword with its blade end facing downward. At the bottom part of the breastbone, we will draw a horizontal line. This will be the axis of the chest, or the breast line. At the intersection between the two vertical lines and this horizontal axis is the location of the nipples on the male breast. We can draw a triangle with its top pointing to the pit of the neck and its base located on the breast line. Under that angle, we can draw another line. This line will point to the top edge of the shoulder. There is one more line that runs downward diagonally from the gap between the muscles in the middle of the collarbone. This line is parallel to one side of the triangle. You can now see the W character formed by the diagonal lines. I will indicate these three insertion points on another humerus. Once again, the clavicle portion, or the collarbone portion, goes from the inner half of the collarbone into the lowest point of insertion. The sternal, or breastbone portion, goes horizontally from the breastbone into the middle point of insertion. And finally, the lower portion of the breast muscle goes from the ribs to the top point of insertion. In red pencil, I will indicate the shape of the deltoid. It covers the shoulder from the front, side, and back.